Hey there, I'm Sean C. Davis. I'm on the developer education team at Netlify, and today I want to show you how easy it is to create new sites on Netlify using just the API. Let's take a look. Now, the first thing you need to do is get authenticated with the API. There's a link to a video in the description below that shows you that process. Right here, I'm just going to paste in my personal access token. And once you have that token, you can use the curl command to hit the API endpoint. We'll pass a header here authorization bearer. And then this is where you pass in your token. Now, this is my token. I'm going to delete this right after the video. But if I were doing this repeatedly, I would take this token, store it in an environment variable. And then for security reasons, just use the environment variable in this command. And then we want to specify that this is a post request. And we're going to send it a little bit of data. Here, we'll just do name. So you can name your site, whatever you want it to be. I'll say um, my new site 01. And then we have our API endpoint, and that is api.netlify.com slash api slash v1 slash sites. And instead of having the output printed directly to my console here, I am going to pipe it into a new file, which we'll call new site, and we'll see what that response is. All right, there we go. It takes just a second to run, and now I'm going to open that file up in my text editor. And here it is. You can see this is a lot of data, but I want to call your attention to three distinct properties. The first is the ID, and this is the unique ID for this particular site. And when you're using the API to perform actions on this site, you're going to need this value. The next is the URL. And by running this command, we already technically have a site ready for us in production. We can open up this URL. Now, of course, we get a 404 because we didn't add any files to this site, but it's here and the domain is ready to go and it is linked up to your new Netlify site. And the last property I want to show you is the admin URL. This is the link to the Netlify UI for your site. So let's open that up. And here we go. If you've deployed other sites to Netlify, this will look very familiar. This is the dashboard for your new site. And you can see we don't have any deploys yet, but we are ready to go. And as soon as you add a deploy, you will have a live site in production. And you did this all with a single command in your terminal. I'm Sean C. Davis. I'll see you next time.